Hello everybody, I am E. Marie and you are watching Destiny Within. Today my video is focusing on cleaning supplies, but homemade cleaning supplies. This is what's going to be a boom. Okay, some chemicals irritate my skin and sometimes I just don't want to spend all that money. With that being said, I'm going to make my own lotion cabinet faucet solution. I'm going to make it do what it do today. But I'm also going to teach you some things. So please, before we get started, subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Comment and share. And let's get started. Vinegar is a multi-cleaning solution that you probably already have in your pantry. It's great for cleaning countertops and it's a natural disinfectant. If you didn't know, now you know. But listen, this is what you need to clean your countertops. Listen up. You need a spray bottle for starters. Anything will do. Juice something up, pour something out, reuse it. It will work just fine. And then vinegar, I suggest you use the white vinegar. Now, if you have apple cider vinegar at home, that's good for ingesting it, helping your digestive system, but it's not gonna be used for this recipe. Just FYI. Okay, I'm gonna take the spray bottle. You're gonna pour, I say about a half a cup. in your spray bottle. And then, well, not really a half a cup, but to right here, okay? And then you're gonna add water. Okay, and now it's up to here. The solution I added, vinegar is right, came up to right here. The water came up to right here. Shake it up. Okay, now, Let's put it to the test, you guys. Come on, countertops that needs cleaning right now. Okay, my spray bottle's not trying to spray, so I'm gonna have to take the top off. Okay. Now for tough stains like this, I recommend you to let it sit on here for up to I want to say three minutes just to see. Ta da! Now, with tougher stains, it may need to be a little bit scrubbed, a little bit longer, but you get the drift. Yes. Okay, you guys. Also, I wanted to let you know that vinegar can also be used for doing your floors. But FYI, you are not supposed to use vinegar on hardware finishing floors because it will dissolve the finishing touches and cause water stains. Yeah, it's, believe me, you don't want the headache, okay? And then, just to let y'all know, that you can also clean your dishwasher. All you need is just to run it for one cycle in that bad brother with a cup of vinegar. Let it run through the whole cycle and it will get rid of the soap scum, the food smelling, the bacteria, everything in there. I'm telling you, vinegar is, vinegar is what's, what's going on. 
Vinegar does what it do. It could keep him ticking. And you also can clean your outside appliances. But I do not recommend that you use a scrubber because it can scratch your surfaces. Only I only recommend that you use a micro scrubber cloth. Do not do what I did when I was back in my early days. Yeah, you learn from your mistakes. At least I like to think so. Then also, you can also, um, okay, for tough stains, listen up. For tough stains on your countertops, toilet or anything, vinegar and water will do. It will do it. It will do what it do. Now, for, um, for tough stains, add a few drops of Dawn soap to vinegar and water, okay? And then you just let, let it sit on the stain for up to five minutes. But more, if it's more harder, more stubborn stain, I suggest you leave it on a little bit longer. You guys, this is a nice, nice way to save your bucks. And get this, you can also use this as paste for the cracks. Listen. You get, you get Dawn soap, baking soda, and a little bit of vinegar. Not a lot. Maybe like a, a teaspoon. Make it up to a paste consistent and apply it on the surface. Leave it on there for like five, ten minutes or however, however long you think it need to be on there and voila cleaning paste 